Hello and welcome to the Good Imaginations podcast. Tonight, we will journey to the strange jungle where you can unwind, reorient yourself, and if you would like, fall fast asleep. Before we begin our adventure, make sure you're settled. If you are seated, get comfortable. Listen to your spine and relax your shoulders. If you are lying down, get your covers and pillow where you want them. Create your nest. Very good. Now, take three deep breaths with me in preparation for the journey ahead. Let go of your day and travel to a vacation for your mind. Imagine with me. See, smell, and be present. Breathe with me now. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Slow and even. One. Two. Three. Very good. Now, shut your eyes and let's drift off to the site of tonight's adventure. You wander through the jungle, and warm, steamy drops of water drip from the trees above you. You are exploring this jungle in search of a rare golden beetle that is said to give healing power to whoever catches it. You need a bit of healing for your village. You are going to bottle the healing and take it back to them, if you can catch the beetle. You have a glass bottle ready in your satchel, ready to catch the power and seal it up, if you can find the little thing. Your journey through the jungle so far has been good. You weren't expecting that. You were expecting suffering, sweat, scratches, and the whine of large insects. Instead, you feel like everything around you is good. Expectant. That is encouraging to you. It makes you feel like maybe you are on the right track, like you have entered a kind of heaven dimension where only the beauty of the jungle remains. You wander through, and the warmth of the sun and the glow of the golden light are just right. The sun is not blinding, and the air is not hot. You are comfortably, cozily warm, enjoying the glow, and just when you might get too hot, there is a refreshing breeze, scented with rainwater and fresh rivers, that blows over you from the tops of the trees. Yes, the jungle has been beautiful, really and truly like a glimpse of heaven, like even the small plants near your feet are kind and wish the best for you. You wander along a narrow dirt trail, and you pass huge leaves, leaves as big as you are, bobbing bright green. Above them, huge trees miles high stretch upwards. Moss and vines grow in a network, and when you tilt your head back, you can see bright flashes of parrots or butterflies, jewels living in the canopy. The air of the jungle isn't sticky and thick. It's open and refreshing, like a mountain air or a fresh gulp of wind off the top of a cliff. A warm mist hangs in the air, and the mist is illuminated in bright streaks by the shafts of golden light that filter down. Above you, birds call in a rhythm, and you hear other wild sounds, like croaks and growls. But you don't feel afraid. The wind whispers in the trees above, rushing, hissing, like the sound of the ocean. The leaves and their sound are so high above you, you feel like you are underwater, under a world of green. You know what the birds must see when they fly overhead. Endless hills and valleys of rich green treetops for miles and miles, like ocean waves of green. And you are in the world underneath, the secret place of bugs and birds. You stop to admire a row of bright orange bell-shaped flowers, and their fragrance is lovely, like banana and fresh snow and vanilla. You smile and look at the way the light filters through the buds. They are so thin, like a brittle glass, like soap bubbles. The orange petals quiver in the air 
like tiny insect wings. Something in your stomach catches. You are here for adventure, not to be distracted by small beauties. And yet you can't help it. What a gift this place is, then, that even you, in your task-oriented mindset, cannot help but be swept away by the beauty. You are glad you've come, to a place where the goodness is so lush you cannot ignore it. It seems to be steeping into you, and perhaps you need it. The path forks. One side goes into a clearing, the other dips down under a large jungle leaf. You are unsure of which way to go, but you decide to step under the leaf. Perhaps you choose this way because of the air of secrecy. The leaf is as big as a door, and it seems to be guarding something. You push the leaf gently aside, pushing with both your arm and shoulder. The wet dew on the leaf soaks into your sleeve, and your breath catches. The leaf is as smooth as a lily pad, and its size makes you feel small. Suddenly, instead of continuing along the path, searching and moving, you decide to stay still. For a little while. The path here is sheltered, dripping, soft in sunlight. You see a leaf even bigger than the doorway leaf. Three humans could settle comfortably on top of it. The leaf is as thick as your hand, made of firm, spongy green matter. The stalk is solid, like the trunk of a small tree. So, you decide to climb. It's a slippery business. You keep falling off. The leaf is slick and smooth, and wet from the warm, dripping canopy. And as birds call and whistle above you, you start to laugh. This is silly and fun, and it's starting to feel impossible. Finally, you reach the top of the leaf, feeling incredibly pleased with yourself, and you settle into the center. The leaf, rather than straining under your weight, moves. It can grow, suddenly it seems, it can shift, it lifts you, so that you are lying flat, like it wants to be sure you are getting enough sun. Now that the leaf is parallel to the ground, you are in no danger of sliding off, and you cross your arms behind your head and stare up at the canopy. Tiny blue butterflies dart above. A scarlet bird streaks through. The gentle weight of the leaf below you is exquisite. Normally you lie on things that are solid and hard, but there's a sense of suspension, almost as if you're napping on a bird's wing or floating in midair. A splash of warm water from up above hits your toe. You feel contemplative. This is nice. Suddenly, you notice something crawling on the leaf beside you, emitting a glow. A dot of sunlight, perhaps? You turn your head. Oh, look! The golden beetle. 